people ask me all the time, like, how do you how do you cook corn on the grill? How do you roast corn? I mean, one of the most important things is that you soak the corn in some water, just some plain water. You know, tap water is fine. Whatever you like to use, just soak the corn in the water. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you take the silks out because they're really not edible. And then you're going to leave a little bit of the husk to protect the kernels. Okay, so you take it all the way down, take out all the silk. Take a couple of the husks off, some of the outside husks, and then you leave the rest on to protect it. You just put it back into the water, and you let it soak for a good maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Three things are going to happen. You're actually going to cook the corn, and the moisture is going to help keep the corn really nice and moist. You're going to get a little bit of the, uh, the charred flavor from the corn, and then all the, all the natural sweetness of the corn is going to come out to the top, and you have actually a little caramelized flavor on there because you're cooking it directly on the grill. You want to put this on about medium heat. This is going to take about, I would say, about 20 minutes. Now I can start to make the, uh, the flavored butter for the corn. Corn's on the grill. A couple more minutes to go with that. We have some unsalted butter here, and you want to make sure it's pretty well softened. Let's just put this in the food processor. And then just some fresh dill. And put a lot. You don't want it to just to taste like butter. You want to taste, you want, the, you want the butter basically holding the dill together. Mm, love that smell. Salt and pepper. And in no time, you have a compound butter. Let's let that go and we'll go get the corn. This is what you want to see with the corn, okay? You want it to be nice and tender here. Still very nice and moist. You can see that the, uh, the corn husks actually protected it from the grill, but also kind of, it's gonna, it's gonna give it that smoky charred flavor. Okay, let me show you how this is supposed to work. Let's take a brush, take some of your dill butter. You just want to slather your dill butter right into the corn.